Hi, it's raining again, so time for another episode. Today is the third in the series of looking at SCSI emulators. And this time around it's a device called RA SCSI, which is a, a hat based on the Raspberry Pi. So this is the board. Uh, the board comes already populated with a lot of the small SMB components. All you have to add is you've got to put the USB connector on, which is not easy, and then put on these uh, four bus transceivers and then the 50 pin SCSI. There's also room for a 25 pin DB25 down here, but I'm not going to use that so I haven't bothered putting it on. So that's the construction of the board. Um, what you do is you attach it to a Raspberry Pi on the bottom, so there's a Raspberry Pi Zero there. And then you're ready to go. Now I've got it plugged into my usual candidate, which is the Vaxstation 3100. The software for this is installed on the Raspberry Pi. Um, you have to load a copy of Raspbian on here, or Raspberry Pi OS as it's called now, and then you follow a procedure through which basically builds the RA SCSI software. So it's not quite a plug and play type install, you've got to do a little bit of configuration work. Um, being a Raspberry Pi, you've got to power it separately, it's not powered off the bus like some of the other cards are, which is a bit of a problem, so down the track you would have to have some sort of adapter that went from your Molex connector or something into a, into a USB. You can control this from the command line on the Raspberry Pi, but there is a web interface that's available because this is a, a zero W, it's got internet connectivity, so you can go in through a web page to do the configuration, which we'll have a look at now. Okay, this is the web page for the RA SCSI device. It shows you the connected devices here. And what you do is you go down here and you can create a new one. So we'll create a disc. You can say what type of disc it is, but I found that only one of them works. The Apple Genuine is the only one that functions. And you say what size you want, and you say create. And it will create a disc of that size, and then it lists the disk in here that you've just created. What you can then do is you tell it, to, you give it a SCSI ID and you say attach, and then it appears in this list. So SCSI ID 1 is that file. There are options here to load and save configurations. So you can say, save that as the default. And then when you load it in, it'll have that. It's supposed to load at boot time, but it doesn't, which is another thing that needs to be fixed in this software. So every time you start this thing up, you've got to go into this web interface and, and load your configuration in. Anyway, that's loaded up, so we'll go over to the Backstation console and have a look there. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got DKA 200 and 3 and 100. DKA 100 here is the other device. So we'll boot into VMS and have a look. So 
Oh, it shows up there. It's just given a name as Seagate ST225N by default. You can't change that. And I noticed that there's a space before Seagate, which, may, which is why it doesn't show up in the console. It only shows up once the system's booted. So we attempt to mount that. And a bug checks. Um, no matter what you do, you try to initialize it, you stand alone back up. Every time you try and access it, you get a bug check. So this is exactly the same behavior as we got on the blue SCSI. It seems that um, these SCSI emulators that are designed for Apple's, Apple Mac machines, they must implement only the stuff that the Apple needs and forget about all the other commands. So things like the Vaxxin Alpha don't work or the driver doesn't get a response that understands. So that's unfortunate. Um, hopefully things will change in the future. So as for now, I think the only one of these emulators that actually works is the SCSI to SD the blue SCSI bug checks and the RA SCSI also bug checks. Plus there's a, there's a few sort of annoying bugs in the RA SCSI as well that needs to be sorted out. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting and we'll catch up with you next time.